Thanks for joining us for K2 News at 6. I'm Rick Aswin. I'm Deborah Knapp. Now, with President Biden pulling out of the race and throwing his support behind Vice President Harris as the nominee, the big question is what comes next? K2's Christina Giardinelli is at the live desk now to help break that down. And, Christina, most of the Democratic delegates pledged to Biden after the primary. So what's now? Well, you know, one of Oregon's... Uh one of Oregon's pledged delegates tells me that they do not yet have a clear answer from the party's leaders in D.C. They're waiting to hear whether the votes they pledge to Biden will go to Harris or whether they will be allowed to vote for another potential candidate. Oregon's Democratic delegates set to vote for the party's presidential nominee in just a few weeks. Today, they're vocally throwing their support behind Vice President Kamala Harris as Biden's replacement. That includes Oregon Governor Tina Kotek, who's an automatic delegate. She is smart. She is strong. She is the right person to lead our country here in the next four years. She needs to be our next president. We received similar messages from all six of Oregon's congressional delegates. I also spoke to district delegate and Portland City Council candidate Loretta Smith, who's throwing her support behind the vice president. Uh, I'm in support of the vice president. I think she can hit the ground running. She's already proven that she can raise money. It remains unclear whether delegates like Smith, who pledged to Biden after the primary, will be tied to Harris because Biden endorsed her, or if they'll be free to endorse another potential candidate during the Democratic Democratic National Convention in a few weeks. We've already done that voting and uh, we've already been pledged to President Biden and so now he has taken those 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 pledges back and so they have to figure out how to do it. She says she's been hearing from the Democratic National Convention who's promising delegates will receive an answer soon about this process. I've already said I don't care what kind of process they have I am going to vote for uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. Smith tells me she believes Harris has what it takes to garner the support she needs from voters despite coming into this so late in the game. She believes Harris is inspiring African-American and female voters. And I'm excited that she's going to bring a whole new group of elected officials around. Just like when Obama got in the office, people were inspired. I was inspired. That's why I ran in 2010. When I saw... Um, President Obama. Right. Democrats will hold a virtual nomination to a vote to meet Ohio's deadline by August 7th. We'll be keeping close track of that and bringing you the latest for now at the live desk. Christina Giardinelli, K2 News. Christina, thank you.